Okay, so for uh, this screencast, I'm going to show you a bit more about how tables and views work with the Junos Python Easy Micro Framework. And what we're looking at right now is the Junos CLI for a SRX uh, device. And if I wanted to show you routes on that device, I'd use the show route command. And here you can see we have 148 uh, active routes. Now, if I wanted to be more specific in this command, I could say uh, show route 192.168.56.0 slash 24, and that would show me only those routes in the routing table. And I could get even more specific by doing a specific uh, protocol, for example, local here, and I can see that this is in fact the IP address assigned to my uh, giggy 000 interface. Now I'm showing you this because I want you to see that this command show route has these types of parameters and we're going to use these parameters as part of the tables and views that uh, you get with Python. So if I were to look at the last command show route 192.168.56.0/24 protocol local and if I were to look at what that command looks like in the underlying XML API I can do that with display uh, XML RPC. And here you can see that there are two parameters to this command, get route information, uh, destination, and protocol. And those are the parameters that are being filled in there. So with that in mind, let's take a look at uh, the Junos Python Easy. Okay, so what you're looking at now is the Python shell. And I've already imported the device widget and created a connection to my remote device. What you might notice here is that I did not provide the username or password fields. Um, the username is actually being pulled from my user environment variable uh, in my Linux. And because I'm using SSH keys, I don't need to provide a password. So if you're using SSH keys in your environment, it's actually very easy to create remote connections to Junos devices. And now that we've got this device um, variable set up, I'm going to import the route table widget from the library. And then I'm going to create a uh, routes variable from that table widget bound to that device. And then I'm going to get the table. So you can see that I've obtained all 148 table items. But perhaps you, know, you don't want to get all of the routes. You only want to get specific routes. Well, you can pass parameters to the get function. And if I wanted to get uh, a specific destination, I would do that simply by providing it as the first parameter. like so. And here you can see that I've got two items in, uh, in that retrieval. And if I wanted to pretty print those, I can dump the keys. And I can see that those were the two items in my route table. Now we saw on the Juno CLI that the show routes command has a number of command parameters. And I can use any of them in the call to get. So for example, I might want to use the protocol equals local. And here I just say protocol is equal to local and it retrieved that single item that you saw from the Juno CLI and again if I wanted to dump the routes you can see that it retrieved that single item. So the table widgets in the Juno's Python Easy micro framework are very versatile. Um, they use a technique under the hood called micro or metaprogramming so that the library itself doesn't know about any of these command parameters it simply uses what you give it and assuming that the Juno's uh, operating system implements those functions, it works as you would expect it to. So hopefully you found that interesting and uh, helpful in your use of tables.